This people gonna think I got COVID. <laughs> Stop cleaning your throat. <laughs> You may be sitting behind the camera like, no, she need to try my mac and cheese. I know my mac and cheese bomb. My grandma mac and cheese. My mama mac and cheese. My girlfriend, boyfriend. No, I don't have to try your mac and cheese to know that his mac and cheese is the best mac and cheese in the whole wide world. Hey, yo. Welcome back. Welcome, welcome, welcome back. No, um, y'all, I hope it's not shaking. I think the shaking, the way that it looks when it's shaking in my intros is the way that I'm holding it now. I don't feel like I'm shaking, but when I go back and watch the footage, the footage be so shaky. So I need to see if I can get something to help me, like, actually stabilize it. But besides that, you guys, welcome back. How y'all doing today? Y'all see I curl my hair? Y'all, I used to wear my hair curled all the time, but lately, for some reason, I've just been wearing it straight. You can call it laziness, pretty much. I'm going to call it laziness if you don't want to call it for me. I've been lazy because I used to wear my hair curled all the time, but my hair is curled today. You see it? Now, I'm not going to pick the curls out. I'm pretty much going to... I'm trying to hold it steady, y'all. I'm pretty much going to just let them fall because I actually curled my hair about three days ago, but it's been on the mannequin head. I haven't been wearing it. So I decided to put her on today because I recorded some reaction videos. Make sure you go over to my reaction channel and check out my reaction videos if you have not already. Only if that's your type of thing. If that's not your type of thing, you can just stay here with me on this channel. I'm, I got you. We still, we still good. We good over here. Um, but today... I don't have a lot planned today. Today is actually Saturday, so I just recorded two reaction videos. And then at 3.30, I actually have to go and pick up my um, pre-order plate that I purchased from, is it a Grand Cuisine or Grandeur Cuisine? I have to look it up. I'm going to put it right here like on the side so you can see it. But I'm about to go pick up my plate, y'all. The plate has fried salmon bites. Now, I've never had fried salmon. I love salmon, but I have never had fried salmon. So it has fried salmon bites. It has um, shrimp. It has greens. And then it has mac and cheese. I am excited for my pre-order. You guys, if you have not, make sure y'all go ahead and try him out whenever he does his pre-order plates. Again, this is my first time. I'm going to let you guys know how it tastes. I'm going to show you how it look and everything like that. Because you know how sometimes stuff looks good online. And then when you get your plate, when you try it, you like... I was so hype about it. I was excited about it, but it does not taste like how I thought it would taste. So I'm actually excited. But yeah, so pretty much that's what we're about to go do. So I'm about to go get dressed. Well, I'm already dressed, but I'm about to go put on my shoes and then just head on out. Now, I don't have any other plans today. I may get up with one of my friends today. I may not. I'm not sure, but I'm not sure if I'm going to put them on camera or not. But I'm pretty much about to go ahead and go. Um, I can show y'all what I'm wearing. It's not anything special. It's, I'll just show you guys though. Okay, so I didn't really, um, I didn't really get dressed today because I'm not going anywhere, but I just have on this crop tee, y'all. This t-shirt is so old. Like, when I say so old, I'm talking years old. These shorts are some old shorts I just decided to throw on. Um, nothing special. And then I'm putting, I got on some black socks and I'm about to put on my leopard crocs. <clears throat> yeah, the leopard crocs. So it's nothing special, no. Again, I'm not doing anything today, um. Just about to go pick up my plate, but I decided I would share this with you guys just to um, just to show, especially if anyone's in the Charlotte area or anything like that. Or if you are in the Charlotte area and you know other people who have good eats. Again, I'm not a foodie, but I do like to try things every now and then, every now and then especially something that's different. Just keep in mind that I am pescatarian and I will always love to try it. Just comment it down below. But you guys, let's go ahead and make our way there because I got to be there by 3.30. Okay, so I've already paid for my plate. It's pre-order. So I've already paid for it. He sent over a little thing that like, you know, like, hey, he gives you your order number. Let you know, look, you need to be here on time. If you're late, that's it. You're not getting your plate, and that's on period. So I gotta go ahead and make sure I'm on my way there. Uh, what time is it? Okay, so it's two thirty-five now, and I have to be there by three thirty. I looked up the place. The place is probably like I think it said like twenty minutes. But I'm going to go ahead and leave early, okay? you got to leave early so that you can be there on time. You never know what you may come across. You may go to the wrong spot by mistake, and you might need a double bag. You know, you just got to give yourself that, that yourself that extra time to actually get to places on time. And shout out to my mother for that because she always made sure we was everywhere 15 to 20 minutes early, okay? Everywhere we went... Even to this day, I always make sure that I'm early just to give myself extra time. And just because I am I love being on time. Being on time is my thing. So we're about to go ahead and head out, you guys. 
Hey, hey, y'all. So I just got to my pickup location. Um, I'm not going to give out the location because I think this is like a personal location. But, um, yeah, so I'm here ready to pick up. My pickup time is 3.30. It's currently 3.24, so I am a little early. And it looks like it's a couple of us actually that's pretty early because I see us a few more cars out here waiting with me as well. So we might all have like the 3.30 pickup time, which sounds good because it sounds like my food is going to be fresh when I receive it, which I'm so excited about um so i'm gonna do pretty much like i'm gonna try it and test it out and everything like that i don't know if i'm gonna eat it on camera but i'm definitely gonna tell you guys my thoughts about it i will say that it is black owned business and i am excited to try it and actually um try out the different black owned businesses here and everything like that again i'm gonna put his information in the i think i'm shaking again i'm gonna put his information on the screen as well as down below in the description box but you know before i came y'all he stayed right he stayed close to a starbucks so i had to stop to a starbucks and get me a pink drink okay it wouldn't be a day without a pink drink no i'm actually doing good because i have not had a pink drink quite some time okay i've been saving funds that Trenta pink drink is $6 every time you get it, okay? It's like $5.90. So, if anybody has the hack on how to make it at home, please comment down below. Let me know if you got a link. I've looked at some of the ones on YouTube, and I it didn't seem, they didn't seem like they would do it for me. I even tried one of them, and it didn't taste like the pink drink to me. So, But, yeah, you guys, I'm here. I'm ready to get my food. I will see y'all guys. I'll see y'all when I get my food. Okay, y'all, so I just got my food. I pulled over for a split second because I want to see how it looks, of course. I didn't want to, like, hold up their line or anything like that they had going on. And plus, I had to show y'all what it looked like. So we're going to be looking at it together for the first time, okay? So let's see. Okay, you guys, so those are the salmon bites. That is the shrimp. That is like their special sauce that they have. That's the macaroni and cheese. And then those are their collards. I am excited to taste it, but I'm not going to taste it. I'm going to go home. I stayed probably about 10 minutes away um, before I eat it. I will say, though, I was expecting more salmon bites. I wasn't expecting to get just four, but it's okay. Um, I am ready to go home and try it, though. So I will see y'all when I get home. Yeah. Brittany, what did you think of your meal? What did I think of it? Uh, one to ten. One to ten. 
I'll give it an 8.5. The drink was good. The drink was good, y'all. She didn't like her queso. What would you like about this? Yeah? Y'all, it didn't look like that when she first got it. <laughs> y'all, everything was at the bottom. Oh, I look greasy. Me, I would rate my. I look greasy all the way. Give me some chapstick. I would rate. My <laughs> <laughs> These people gonna think I got COVID. <laughs> Stop cleaning your throat. <laughs> I would rate my. Y'all can see I didn't get most of my food because for one, the beans. Okay, y'all, so I just got back from eating and I went to the, I think it's Cantina, Cantina um, here in Charlotte, it's on Park Road, Taco Tuesday, they don't have a, like a Taco Tuesday special or anything like that, but me and one of my friends went, um, now you'll actually see in the clipping right before this that um, I went with my friend Brittany and we go out to eat just about every Tuesday, we've been missing... We missed a few weeks because she had got sick, so well, she's back in health now, so everything's back to normal, so we are back doing our Tuesday, uh, Taco Tuesdays. But um, the place that I went to, um, you'll see that she, so as far as the place that we went to, you'll see that she rated her food. I didn't rate my food because of copyright reasons. The music was playing too long, and I know I was going to be kind of long-winded. But I will say that for the most part, the food was good. As you can see, I ordered a whole lot of food. Whenever I order food, I always order with my eyes versus with my actual stomach. As you can see at the end, I posted another picture. I didn't eat nearly as much of the food. I pretty much had got full on like the drinks as well as the the drinks, the chips and the queso. I ate... I think three of my tacos, I ate, ate like a fry or two. The ketchup was too sweet for me, and I love ketchup, but that ketchup was absolutely too sweet. And then I got the charro beans. I didn't know they came with pork in them. The ones that I had got from a previous restaurant didn't have the pork, so this was new for me, so I couldn't eat those. So she took those off my bill. Thank you so much. So overall, I got the tacos too, y'all. They have a special. They had a special with tacos. You can get five tacos for $17. So that's what me and Brittany both did. Um... So my tacos pretty much had like shrimp and fish as far as like my meat options that I had for my shrimp. I mean for my tacos. But overall my tacos were good you guys for the ones that I did eat. <laughs> Again I couldn't eat everything. I would rate mine probably like an 8 out of... Probably an 8 out of 10. It was pretty good. Um, the beans was good. But I, first, I ate that first spoonful and I'm like something's not right about this. The flavoring, I could tell it was like some type of actual like meat meat in it. So I ended up not eating those. Um, but overall, it was good. I really did like it. The drinks were okay. Um, I know she no said they normally had like a house special, but they were out of liquor because of it's the day after Labor Day. She said they pretty much got smashed. But overall, it was good. Her customer service was good. She was very cheerful, very helpful. Um, the only thing is they were very short staffed, so she was pretty much like running the joint. I think she said she was like the bartender shift. She was making drinks and coming out and like serving the customers and everything like that. But of course, we did leave her a nice little tip and we do appreciate her so much because if it was me, I probably would have took my apron off and that would have been my last day. <laughs> Y'all, that would have been my last day. I'm not even playing, but um, I never rated my meal. I'm starting to sweat in this bathroom. Looking like Tweety. I never rated my meal that I had um, in the clipping that you seen right before this when I got the salmon bites and the shrimp and the macaroni and cheese and collards. That meal, I would rate probably like a 7 out of 10. The food was good, but I felt like the shrimp and salmon I honestly could have made at home. Um, it just kind of had like a, it didn't really have a special feel or taste to it for me. The collards were okay. They weren't really my thing as far as taste goes. I added some vinegar to them and it kind of made them taste um a little bit more to my liking but i wasn't really a big fan of the collars now the mac and cheese let me tell y'all about that mac and cheese that baked mac and cheese is the best baked mac and cheese i have ever had the best mac and cheese i've had period i think he said it's five cheese that mac and cheese was so darn bomb when i tell you you have to try that mac and cheese he need to put it out in a cookbook or something like that you may be sitting behind the camera like no, she need to try my mac and cheese. I know my mac and cheese bomb. My grandma mac and cheese. My mama mac and cheese. My girlfriend, boyfriend. No, I don't have to try your mac and cheese to know that his mac and cheese is the best mac and cheese in the whole wide world. Okay. <laughs> Y'all don't get hot. I'm sweating with all this hair. Y'all see I still got the curls. 
they still hanging in there but um overall yeah that's it i haven't really done too much between now and then i cut the um the camera the footage got cut from when you last seen where i had picked up my food because i actually went to go pick up my friend right after that so i ended up coming home and then eating my food and then we went out and got like ice cream after that we went to a place that's here close to my um house we went and got ice cream and that was pretty much all we did for the rest of that day and i haven't really done too much since then i've been in the shop um i've done a couple heads so far head over to my hair instagram press by underscore kaylee mon so you can see what i've been up to still slowly trying to build clientele here um and yeah, I'm just working. Pretty much just working. And trying to get more vlogs for you guys. So definitely be on tune for that. And hit that notification bell. This isn't going to be the end of this vlog. Because I feel like it's too short. I don't feel like it has enough. So I'm definitely going to add some more footage in here, you guys. I will see y'all. I would like to get to know salon as you can see in the footage i got that footage on my phone as well i went and got a well-needed pedicure i haven't i didn't say how long it's been since i had a pedicure but it's been within the past probably a month or two almost two months and i need to go more often than that because you know how your toes just look so good when you get that fresh pedicure it ain't nothing like it so i need to start hitting it once a month i gotta stop being lazy because the place i go to is literally like my neighbor so i need to just um just make sure I'm going more often. But no, I'm about to go into Walmart, you guys, because I'm just going to pick up a few things. I'm not really about to go, like, crazy shopping or anything like that. Um, because, for one, I woke up this morning and I wanted to make... I wanted to make pancakes, and I did not have pancake syrup. So, I need to get that. I also need to stop to Food Line or Whole Foods because they have that Beyond Meat sausage that I like to get. So, I'll show you guys what that is as well. That's really good, especially if you're someone who's trying to find, like, some meat substitutes or... Um, options if you're trying to you know stop eating meat and everything like that so i'm gonna go in and pick up a few items i probably won't record anything at walmart you guys you've all been to walmart there's nothing in there to see but oh let me show y'all my pedicure let me see please 
vegetation but again we back in the kitchen y'all so now let me show y'all the things i said i was going to show um, one thing is I got a bag of potatoes um, and these are just the jumbo baking potatoes. Either I'll um, bake the potatoes or I will do mashed potatoes or if, I have a, if I'm ever in the mood for fries, I'll cut them up and fry them and do french fries. You guys, those are better for you versus going to a fast food restaurant getting french fries or even the frozen french fries. They're so much better for you because those fries contain... Um, so much salt. A lot of items that are kept frozen contain salt because that's one of the things that helps keep the items quote unquote fresh or from going bad. So get you some regular potatoes. You're going to notice a big difference. Okay, so stop buying fries and cut up your own potatoes and make your fries. That and then I went to Food Line and I got the sausage that I was telling you guys about. I love eating this. It's the Beyond Meat plant based sausage. So it's no meat. It's all plant. Okay, this one right here, this fresh one is the hot Italian. Um, this is the one that I really like. So usually what I'll do is I will cut it in half and kind of cook it on the stove for about seven to eight minutes. Um, and then I'll eat it with mustard. Plain, I don't eat it with like any bread or anything. And then this is the other one. And this is the bratwurst. But you guys, these are very good and very good substitutes for somebody who's switching from eating, um, who's trying to switch from being eating meat and then to being like more plant based. These are definitely a good option. And this brand actually makes a lot of different pro products that are plant based that are very good. So definitely try them out. Oh, and my friend that you guys seen earlier, um, who is Brittany, me and her go out every single Tuesday and go to a Mexican spot. Now we missed a few Tuesdays just because she had got sick, but she's feeling better now, so we back on schedule. Um, every time I go to a Mexican restaurant, I always use these sauces right here. This green one is like very hot, and then this one is kind of like a regular hot sauce, but you guys, they are bomb, okay? They bomb. Gotta get them. And then, let me show you one more thing. Oh, and I got two things of these smaller cereals. Y'all, I haven't had regular cereal in so long, but I bought smaller ones just to get, like, um, smaller portion sizes just so, you know, you don't eat a whole box of, like, cereal. I can sit there and eat a whole box of cereal if, like, I really wanted to. So I'll pour in, like, some of my almond milk and eat it with this. Again, you don't want to eat a lot of cereal because it's a lot of sugars, and, you know, that's not good for you. That. I got some other stuff, but it's not like I'm going to just show y'all everything I got. But, um, oh, my syrup. I got my pancake syrup, y'all, because I woke up and I wanted pancakes this morning. I did not have any syrup, so I got my pancake syrup. Now, this is the one that I have grown up on, this brand right here. It used to be Aunt Jemima, but now they have the Pearl Milling Company. So, I can remember they said they were going to switch that a while back. And then I also got this brand here, the Hungry Jack Butter Brand, you guys. When I was younger, my, um, friend her aunt used to make pancakes and i can't remember what syrup she used i know it came in this type of container so i don't remember if it was hungry jack or not but i swear it is the best pancake syrup i've ever had in my life the thing is now i was young then so i was like elementary school i don't remember the brand anymore i remember purchasing it one time like several years ago but i no longer remember what the brand is so i just got this hoping that it may be it because i haven't seen the hungry jack butter brand available in stores in a while I'm hoping that this is it, okay? I really am. If you are a pancake person and you like pancake syrup, comment down below which pancake syrup you be, you be eating. And I got these Doritos and then this right here. You guys, this combination together is bomb. You got to try it. If you like queso cheese and you like Doritos, the ranch ones, try them together. They are bomb, for real. Um, for the most part, that's it. Again, I didn't really pick up too much. Also, if you're someone who's trying to, um, if you're someone who's trying to watch your diet or you're trying to change your diet, and we all know your diet is what you eat, not necessarily you going on a diet, but your diet is what you eat. 
if you're someone who's trying to watch your weight, you count calories, watching calories, count carbs, watch carbs, whatever it is, and you like to snack because me, I like to eat snacks too. Get smaller bags. Okay, don't get the huge bags, get the smaller bags. See, I was cutting up with this bag, so I got the bigger one. But get smaller bags. It's going to help you portion better. It's going to help you so that you don't overeat and eat too many calories. Again, but don't buy too many. Only if you're... Y'all, I think this is it. I know this vlog altogether was kind of like all over the place. It wasn't very organized. Um, I don't know. I just was picking up the camera at like random moments. Not sure if I was going to record now or not record. That's why it's like a lot of footage on my phone. And also recording on my phone in certain places make it easier to record versus pulling out the camera and trying to record. But I'm just going to try to work on more vlogs for you guys. And this one's shorter, so I think I might try to do shorter vlogs just as those longer vlogs. Because it's like, are y'all really sitting there at the computer for an hour watching me? No. But 10 minutes, you might, you know, try to skip through, skip through. I try to include chapters and stuff like that to make it easier for you to watch it. Or you might want to come back later and finish watching it. But, I don't know, I'm working on the vlogs, you guys. See how I projects. I have something very fun that I'm doing this weekend that I hope to be able to share with you guys. So definitely stay tuned for that. Again, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. I will see you guys in my next video.